Hello friends, this is Zefa and today we are starting a new topic. We want to discuss PHP because lots and lots of my peers have been asking me about, uh, you know, when are you going to start uploading PHP videos. So here we are. Um, I know you are excited about mastering PHP if you are new to PHP that is. I would also like you to subscribe to my channel and click that bell so that you get notifications whenever I upload new videos. Uh, it's going to be exciting and it's going to be worth it for you to learn and master PHP. And after all, you know, PHP is one of the core technologies that uh, empowers Facebook and those several other social network giants. So let's jump into it. But first of all, before we, uh, I, I, I don't like talking a lot. I like doing. So it's going to be 70% practical and 30% uh, some sort of explanations so that you understand uh, what we are doing. So when we are talking about um, um, PHP, when we're talking about PHP, uh, actually, PHP, it's um, an acronym which means Hypertext Preprocessor. So it's Hypertext Preprocessor. So um, actually, they just twisted the words around. You know, it, it, it was supposed to be HPP, not PHP. So maybe the ones who are playing around with the um, with the acronym, they decided it to be PHP, some sort of pre hypertext processor. So. Um, PHP is uh, a server-side scripting language. When we say a server-side sc uh, scripting language, if you are new to, to this type of uh, terminologies, uh, you know, um, there are two sides to every coin. In the case of uh, programming languages, we have got client-side script, and server side script so we have got client side script client side and we also have got server side so on the client side uh, this guy it executes on the browser what you see on the browser that's the uh, client side the server side or the server side language is a much more complex code that requires to be interpreted. It requires interpretation. So there comes in an inter, uh, interpreter because without it, uh, nothing will happen. So why do you need scripting? Your browser is a flunky that bank the classes so it can't interpret or execute complex code when you look at uh, firefox uh, chrome opera safari they can't interpret or execute complex code but on the other hand the server side language is a super brainy genius Hence, it, um, it requires an interpreter installed on the server. And an interpreter, maybe in case you don't know, uh, is a little guy who helps you understand and interpret the PHP code. So, you might wonder how on earth does PHP work? Uh, let's imagine that you are trying to log into a website. Like uh, maybe you want to log into uh, Facebook. As a rule, you need to type your login credentials, your phone number, your email address, and then your password. 
So here's what happens uh, in, in case you for, in case you forget to type your password and hit login on the browser. What happens is that the PHP is going to send back a message to that effect, like um, "Sorry, you did not type in your password," or "Your password was incorrect." or maybe just typed in the wrong email address it will send a message so php prevents invalid requests from being sent to the server it prevents invalid uh, requests from being sent to the server so another thing is that php helps connect to the database the browser itself is a nerd that knows HTML and nothing else. It's just like a primary school kid who just knows uh, maybe counting numbers 1 up to 10 or maybe he or she doesn't understand that 1 minus 2 is negative 1. It's just a nerd. It's a, just a typical geek, you know. So when the browsers re uh, require to pull out content from the database, it is it is uh, in need. It so badly needs an interpreter. This is exactly where PHP, the smart guy now, the college dude, the smart dude, comes in. So PHP interprets the content from the database and make it understandable for the browser. So what you see on the browser is the interpreted version and not the PHP code. What you see on the browser is the interpreted version and not the PHP code. So this is why the PHP code remains concealed. You, you cannot see it. It's just like a ninja, you know. So forget copying the source code as you did for HTML. If you are copying uh, bootstrap code and pasting it onto your uh, onto your code this doesn't work PHP doesn't work that way so before we proceed this was just a fresher for you to understand uh, what we will go through or what we are going to learn uh, in this uh, in this series so I would like you to go to your browser and then you type ZAMP and then this is uh, when you type ZAMP this is what will come and then you go to download. Once you click on download um, it will take you to this page and uh, after that if, whether you are using uh, Windows or you are on Linux or you are using Mac you can download based on your platform. So I'm using Windows. I've downloaded the latest one. So this is the latest one. 8.0 with PHP 8. Because now, we, uh, as of 2021, we are using PHP 8. So you need to download the uh, latest version. Once you have done that, you have to install it. And uh, when you install it, uh, you go to your local disk. C and you'll see a folder uh, like this. So once you've, uh, uh, you have this folder, um, the next thing uh, is that you have to run the, the control, ZAMP control. But first of all, you need to give it administrative rights. You run it as an administrator. So what I've done is, I've gone to properties and then uh, compatibility and then I've gone to change settings for all users and then I've marked run this program as an administrator. So once you've done that, uh, this is very important because without it you will have some sort of errors when you are installing um, Apache and uh, MySQL. So once you've done that you have to double click it or you, you have to open it and um, okay w once you open it yes 
once you've opened it um, you have to uh, this uh, there will be x x x x all over here so what you have to do is um, you need to click this button okay like here this is x you have to click the x so once you click the x it will ask you um, for confirmation do you want to install it then you have to install only these two services apache and uh, mysql so you install apache and then you install mysql and after that you go to configuration and you mark uh, these two to make them uh, auto start once you've restarted your pc you don't need to start them manually you just mark these guys and then you save and you are done so in the next video we are going now to start i've already said that this uh this um tutorial or this series is much more concerned with practical part we don't need to be talking if you want uh, to 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 learn more just go on google and browse and learn and read and uh, you you get the the knowledge here is more about practice because practice um makes improvement so i will see you in the next lesson